Hello, today we embark on an exciting journey back in time to explore the sitcom It Ain't Half Hot Mom. I'm sure many of you have fond memories of this classic show. It Ain't Half Hot Mom is a timeless gem that has left indelible mark on television history. Join us as we relive the magic, revisiting those with the entire cast of then and now. We will explore the names and initial ages of the talented actors on the show and witness their transformation in 2024. So without further ado, let's dive into the world of It Ain't Half Hot Mom. Mike Kinsey was born in 1939 in the sitcom he plays Gunnar Nosha Evans. In 1974, when he was in the sitcom, he was 35 and now he's 85. He's not my old man. My old man works in a munitions factory back home. Ah, but how do you know for sure he is your old man? I know he is. He and my mum got me. Bugger off! I can manage myself. I'm an old man, let me help you. Now look what you've done. John Clark was born in 1934 in the sitcom he plays Gunnar Paderewski Graham. In 1974, when he was in the sitcom, he was 40 years old, and now he is 89 years old. I think I shall faint. It's a damn disgrace, leaving us standing out here in the boiling sun while those officers are lounging around in the shade. I take it you agree with my decision. Don Estelle was born in 1933 in the sitcom he plays Gunnar Lofty Sutton. In 1974, when he was in the sitcom, he was 41, and sadly he passed away on August 2nd, 2003, at the age of 70. She's going to change their books. We've only got one book in our house. It's the rent book. Gunnar <laughs> <laughs> Sutton, King's regulations clearly state. Don't need to know. Bert Kwok was born in 1930 in the sitcom he plays Methant. In 1977, when he was in the sitcom, he was 47 years old, and sadly he passed away on May 24th, 2016, at the age of 85. This must be the bandit chief, Sir Methant. Ugly looking brute. Me not ugly, me very pretty. <laughs> he speaks English. Me speak English. Oh, I don't like attention. Come on, we've become actors seeking attention. You played Cato uh, in seven pictures. Melvin Hayes was born in 1935 in the sitcom he plays Bombardier Gloria Beaumont. In 1974, when he was in the sitcom, he was 39 and now he's 89 years old. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so happy I could cry. <laughs> commercial venture, I think, where you take films that you've shot and you take clips out of those films and make Christopher Mitchell was born in 1948 in the sitcom he plays Gunnar Parkey Parkin. In 1974, when he was in the sitcom, he was 26 and sadly he passed away on February 22nd, 2001 at 52. You will stand by to take the pin when I have extracted it. Yes, sir. Stand by. Oh yeah, we're sombreros. What do I look like? Well, uh, carry on, sir. Stuart McGugan was born in 1944 in the sitcom he plays Gunnar Atlas McIntosh. In 1974, when he was in the sitcom, he was 30 years old, and now he's 80 years old. Right, Atlas, you do it. I don't think so, Sully. I'm not very good at the acting. You could that game. Listen, <laughs> if we were on parade, you'd have you In restaurant, all the noise would come from our table because we had Chris Mitchell, uh, Ken McDonald. Kenneth McDonald was born in 1950 in a sitcom he plays Gunnar Nobby Clark. In 1974, when he was in a sitcom, he was 24 years old and sadly on August 6, 2001, he passed away at 50 years old. No, but you're not quite right there. Yeah, well, I can't do it without hearing the tenor on the melody, see? Well, Lofty will be back. Windsor Davies was born in 1930 in the sitcom he plays Battery Surgeon. In 1974, when he was in the sitcom, he was 44 years old, and sadly he passed away on January 17, 2019, at the age of 88. 
Oh, see you, Mr. Lardy Dog on a Graham. You said that this was a fort. You did not say that it was a deserted fort. I should have thought they'd have told you the difference before they let you. Dino Shafiq was born in 1930 in the sitcom he plays Walla Muhammad. In 1974, when he was in the sitcom, he was 44 years old, and sadly he passed away on March 10, 1984, at the age of 53. Yeah. And, and sir, I will wear silver band ground turban and flower behind your own. Yeah, and I shall polish my tea urn and fill it with half a f Donald Hewlett was born in 1920 in the sitcom he plays Colonel Charles Reynolds. In 1974, when he was in the sitcom, he was 54, and sadly he passed away on June 4, 2011, at the age of 90. Five's day after tomorrow. I say that's a bit off, isn't it? Don't keep me, Charles. No, no, of course not, but what are we going to do? Let's have it out. <laughs> Michael Bates was born in 1920 in the sitcom he plays Rangi Ram. In 1974, when he was in the sitcom, he was 54 years old, and sadly he passed away on January 11, 1978, at the age of 57. HQ, I mean, who can we complain to? Colonel Sir, I will go with Chawala and Pankawala, and we will get three big chatties and fill them full of big red stingy... Michael Knowles was born in 1937 in the sitcom he plays Captain Jonathan Ashwood. In 1974, when he was in the sitcom, he was 37 years old, and now he's 86. And they want us to put on a show for him. I hope the concert party's in good shape. Oh, don't worry, sir. Beaumont's pretty keen. I've been just rehearsing them like mad. When we reflect on the incredible journey of it and half heart mom that took place from 1974 to 1981, Witnessing their growth and transformation, we can see that the connection from those years left a lasting legacy. Their story continues to resonate with fans around the world. And as always, show some love, hit the like button, subscribe for more, and hit the bell to never miss my new content.